the thrift store find. This is a Mad Cat's controller. I think um, we originally were controlling the Sega Genesis on this one. I had to sacrifice the end and cut off the uh, nine pin din. Here it is here. And um, I'm doing this all to experiment with the Raspberry Pi and find out how I can hook these up to the GPIO pins um, for a MAME cabinet. So um, I didn't have a female or a male uh, nine pin, so I cut the uh, cable off here, and I'm just now separating out the wires, and I'm gonna tin the wires with my soldering iron. I'm just waiting for it to get hot here. And um, then I'll start checking them here with my ohms meter and finding out what wires go to what buttons. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Yeah, whenever I have stranded wire and I've gotta test it or do something else to it. I like to solder it together, tin the wires so that it's easier to handle. That way my wires don't come apart on me when I'm trying to work on it. Here I'm going to use my ohms meter and the process of elimination and just start with one and try to figure out what these buttons what color of wire goes to what button. Got a reading already. Down and brown. Brown and black. Get some paper and write this down. Nothing there. So it might be that the uh, brown was ground and not the black at all. Let me try that theory. Brown. We know this is down. Okay. Well, I got lucky off the bat, but it looks like my luck just ran out. Well, come to find out, there is a little tiny brain in here, right here. Well, as I'm trying to modify this joystick, um, I had to open it up, as you've seen me do, and this is the problem here. This actually has some kind of a turbo switch, they call it, on the front of this case up here. And um, so this actually runs through a little microprocessor, and the only pads that were really hooked up is the up pad, which comes to here. Ground was black, but uh, all these pads come into into this microprocessor here, and not directly. So that explains why I wasn't able to, you know, find the match on the wires here. So 
what I'm going to do is um, attempt to scrape off a little bit of this solder mask here on each of the four pads plus um, four of these and see if I can solder um, so I'll take the, these wires off here they're just hooked like that and attempt to solder them like right there so I'm going to do that next okay as you see I had to change a few of the traces because of this crazy joystick if I had known this I wouldn't have bought, uh, you know used this joystick but I got it done it didn't take that long so I just made sure I ran all my grounds and all my traces so that these wires now are active okay I'm gonna button it up and uh, put some ends on there I'll be back okay so I have that bad boy back together and I'm just making a list here of my wires and I'm down to the end here or just about let's see what the green does here I just press till I find a connection So green is the A button. So alright, green. Let's see here. Still gotta do the white. That's the left. And while I'm at it too, I check the other buttons just to make sure I don't have any shorts. So the white button is left. And orange should be the only one left. Oh no, there's two left. There's an up and a start, so let's see if it's up. Yep, that's up. Orange is up. So that leaves. Um, the blue. No. Let's see which one didn't I do? Uh, yellow. Yellow should probably be the start. Let's see. And it is. So yellow is the start. Okay, I've got all my buttons in order. <laughs> there's the plan so you know it was a little bit of trouble but I got it figured out and I ripped these buttons out of there because I didn't want those anymore so I've got four buttons here and three here and one here for a total of eight that I'll be able to hook up on my GPIO pins with the Raspberry Pi I need some resistors, so I'm going to start on a little breadboard and work my way through that. So that's next. I'll be back. Okay, so I did the first five buttons and I tested them. They worked great. So now I'm adding ABC on. Plus, I'm going to do a reset or a credits button for the coin for the coin op. So we're just going to use this for the coin op. That's coming up next. So these are all new. Okay guys, well, here's the joystick I've been working on and wiring it up. Now if you look, uh, I've got it all back together and I've got it going over here to this board and that has all my switches on it and then they go into the GPIO section of the board. So uh, the reason for all this is to make sure that everything is functioning on this arcade simulator and before I make the uh, actual uh, Raspberry Pi case for the main cabinet so let's try this out and see if we can get it to work let's play a little Pac-Man here here's a little reset uh, coin to add coins I just added a little micro switch on there and uh, that'll be hooked up to a coin acceptor okay let's Let's see if this plays. Takes a second to load up. I've got uh, 
some slower SD cards, but I'll be upgrading that soon. Okay, let's start it up. Yeah. A little fat, uh -huh. Here we go. The red one's after me. I'll go this way. Uh, I'm waiting for him. Here we go. It's on. Whoa! Let's get the cherries. That was good. Good cherries. Here we go. So I'm not too bad. Hey! Oh, I died. But as you can see, it works really good. And uh, I think that it will be just fine for smaller games. Now the Raspberry Pi is um, limited, of course. It's only got 512 mega RAM. And, uh, you know, it can have up to a gig as, as far as processing speed. So there's not a lot there, but I think it can play simple games just fine. So the next step is to go ahead and build the cabinet using the CNC router. And we're going to have a class on that. And I'll show you all that stuff. And, um, and then we'll get some real joystick controls and some big buttons off the internet. And we'll build it to look like a regular sized cabinet, except in miniature form. So that's the next step. So hope you enjoyed this show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Let's play it again. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.